feed. And we decided to go on a deer hunting trip down south. We've driven for a couple of day, or day and a half now and we're pretty much at the location we're flying in on a helicopter so we're pretty excited about that and the weather looks pretty good too so if we can get in today the next few days looks real nice so try and get a nice stag or maybe a chamois or we'll see what happens got the bro jared coming along hopefully we can get him an animal looking to get his first uh, public land deer yeah. shot a few on the farm but Hopefully not real one. Not so. real deer, no. <laughs> Got a rabbit. Just made it to the car park and helicopter pilot's gonna pick us up from here. Hopefully he can get in. It's very windy. Here it can <laughs> here it can, he should be able to get us. So. It's definitely a lot colder than up north. It's more just the wind, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's supposed to clear out there again. Yeah, it's more. Or is it just more today, on this side? Today, tomorrow, a little bit windy, and then this afternoon's meant to be meaner. It's meant to be real nice. Just the wind for tonight, and mm. yeah, be good, good weather, I reckon, for the rest of the trip. Get the binos out. Yeah. Just start nice. blasting. Here he comes. Yeah. It's bloody wind. windy. Wants his product there. Are you gonna video on landing? Yeah. Might as well. to the spot where we're going to start our journey. It's a pretty cool area, heaps of nice open country, so hopefully there's a few deer around where it's meant to be. Today. It looks pretty good for the rest of the trip, so I'd like to set up here tonight and then go for a look today here and then just move as we go sort of thing, camping, so it should be a good trip. Bit of a shock to the system how cold it is compared to up here there's a like here might have to shoot it here we just set up camp so far and the weather's not great it's quite windy and cold bit bit of drizzle coming down but uh we're just heading out for a bit of our first hunt so we'll try to find somewhere nice and sheltered and set up and start glassing and hopefully we can spot something we've already seen a bit of sign just down there so a bit of stag sign so or shamey buck, I don't know. It's like a stag. So, yeah, get into it. been glassing for a while it's just cleared up actually so we can actually see and it's awesome country up here and we've spotted already spotted a stag down here we're just trying to get a bit better look at it see what he's like so I've spotted a few deer as soon as it cleared up so looking good and just have to identify one now so hopefully there's a good one down there it's pretty cold now right so that stag's down there, we're going to close the distance a bit and have a better look at him, see how, see what he's like. You can only just see the tops of his antlers because he's sitting in a bit of scrub, so we'll drop down, get going. Hopefully the wind's all good down there.
When he did stand up, he was still partially obscured, but the boys thought it was worth taking a shot now. That shot. Been it's waiting. Been waiting here for like <laughs> hours, and it was so cold. And I was like shaking hard out, and then I was like, <sighs> "Don't <laughs> shake." At the wrong time. Really. Yeah. <laughs> Did you Just like shoot through that tree a little bit? Yeah, public I, land deer. I, I, I aimed right at the like top deer. of that bush. So. It was a good shot. Yeah, yeah like, like you sort of dropped it, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Backing it way down to the stag and seen a lot of deer in this little bit here and we just spooked one out. Little, little baby one. Oh, it's funny seeing them that close. Twelve pointer. Wow. Twelve pointer. Decent? Twelve point. It's not real big, but it's a nice twelve there. Yeah. Nice. Good one for his first first, deal. first public land. Yeah. Yeah. Wrapped with that, mate. Definitely yeah. with. Hey. Wrapped with that. Yeah. Stay. Do you want to hold it Stay. up for the camera? Take a photo. And see. First night. Good going. Good one on the board. You should be able to sleep inside it. Be yeah. nice and warm. Real orange, eh? Real yeah. orange. That's what they easy to see, yeah. Yeah. You think it's that like, like those balls? Mm -hmm. should pack them up and get out of here. Get out of here. Too dark. This was an awesome start to the trip, and Jared was stoked to get a good public land stag. They packed up the meat and headed back to where their packs were so they could start making camp, but they hadn't gone too far before they spotted this. We've seen a nice 10 pointer before, but then it went into the thick scrub and we lost it. So, Manny ended up shooting his 12 pointer and we're just walking down and we just see it there, just and undisturbed. Yeah. He obviously crossed down to yeah. Yeah. It's quite good one, is it? It's like that. Oh, it's an older stag. Yeah. Nice one. We're going to have to go up that It's a long way. night. We're going to be going up that way. side or where. We'll go have up to the end and side of the cross. So or we could just go. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. We'll or we could go up the and go up and the side of the cross and stay low. Really Hopefully good. find a deep, deep place to go. Sneaking our way up to that stag. It's probably a couple hundred metres up this little scree creek. So, oh, I think he's down. Even. Big boy. Even one. Big animal. It's big of a corker. Nice one, eh? Big 10, yeah. Such nice points on it. Yeah. Big points. Yeah. Probably only 35, but... It's pretty big. It's a nice animal. Definitely wasn't going to leave it. Yeah. Didn't try to stay like that for a few years, probably. Got one similar to that, huh? Yeah, that's like the other 10. Big 10, mate. Nice. Oh, a bit further up than I thought. Fuck yeah. Beauty. Even one, eh? Uh. Like yeah. Nice even ten. Daylight was fading pretty fast, and they still had a pretty good haul to get back to where their packs were and make camp. 
They didn't muck around for too long and cut the heat off, got a bit more meat, and then made their way up before it got dark. It was a big haul and they got there well after dark, but the next day dawned a cracker and they were into it. Alright, uh, it's the second day here of our trip and we went out this morning, Had a, got back quite late yesterday, a bit of a mission in the dark, but all ended well because we made it back safely and uh, we went out for a hunt this morning, just not too far, took it pretty easy and We've seen quite a few deer, but no, nothing, no decent stags. So we came back and had a nice lunch and a bit of a swim in the creek and just cooking up, prepping dinner now. It's about four o'clock, so we'll head out for another glass soon. Back into the sort of area we were this morning. And then tomorrow we'll pack up and head to a new location with our packs on, so see how we go. With two deer already down for the trip, the boys decided just to watch him and see what else they can spot. Passing for a couple of hours, um, seen a few deer and stuff, nothing we were interested in shooting. Then um, Minnie spotted a chamois up sort of behind us in the shade, so not too far from camp really, so we're going to get a little closer and see what it looks like. And it's actually a couple of them. A couple of them, one of them's got horn rot, looks like it was a real old buck, it's got horn rot, but there's another buck below it, so we'll see what he's like. And he's never shot a chamois, so. Yeah, I mean he might have been for his first chamois or Harry, his first decent one. Who knows if we'll even make it? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely need to get a video of it. Ah, so it's not going to justify it either, is yeah, it? Never does, eh? Uh. Alright, we've uh, just packed up camp early this morning. Got up reasonably early, took us about 45 minutes to pack up as it does. We're just going to head up up the hill here and have a glass into this valley over here, which is we glassed yesterday. And then we're going to head down across it, up to the other side, over to the next valley today. So it'll probably take us most of the day. And it's going to get pretty hot by the looks. It's not even that cold now. So we'll get going while it's still a bit cooler. Sweet as. Into it.
Beth is here with our bags on and spotted five deer down here but just hides and a yak stag so it's real hot so it's going to be a bit of a slog today but it's a beautiful day with no wind so we'll sit here for a bit longer and then carry on down and up the other side. It didn't take them too long before they managed to spot the chamois. By the looks of things, it had already spotted them, but wasn't too sure what they were, and was making his way closer and closer. So the boys decided to hold off on shooting him and see what he would do. The boys just sat tight and the chamois just kept getting closer and closer. It navigated through some really rough terrain that would have made it hard to retrieve and came to a spot where the boys thought they could take a shot and hopefully get the animal retrieved safely. Jared took the gun to see if he could get himself his first chamois. He lined up and waited for it to stop moving before taking his shot. Shamos. <laughs> came, came right up came to us. Came literally like <laughs> 10 metres away from us. Okay. Eh? <laughs> not. It's not. It's not like. It's not huge, but I think it's like dark. Yeah. 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 Too dark. Did you get a school down there? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Go have a check them out, shall we? It's a good video. All the way down, so that's good. Went quite far down there. Eh? I wouldn't have even really cared if we didn't get it. It was so cold. Yeah. Like Shamos. It's not a bad one. Good first one. We're not, we don't even have a tape, but I'm guessing it's eight, eight to nine inches. It's not, not nothing, no record breaker, but beauty first one anyway. Little hooks for him. Got to go up this valley, up top of that hill, the packs, but we've got through the worst bit, this bit here. Sleepy, scrubby. But now I've just got the long haul. Yeah, long haul. Be nice if we're in the shade over there, but. Probably going to follow us to sign out. Mm. All day. Good stuff. We'll get to the river pretty quick. Just want to get down there now. Yeah. Get a photo. Slightly towards me, it's head. It's always good getting a first down in the Taking out of the bucket list. Made it most of the way up this gully we're heading up. Just got to get up to the top there. It's only 400 metres, but it's the steepest bit. So just having a bit of a break here and refueling with the backcountry, which we're excited about. Haven't only got one for the trip, so we saved it for today. See how it goes. 
sun's just coming over. Man, that's delicious. So strong, eh? I like strong. It's gonna give us some good energy, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for liking the banana. There were heaps of animals out on the tops, which was awesome to see, but with the boys' full packs, they didn't want to add anything to it, so headed along the tops, watching them all and enjoying the day. Set up camp on this nice little spot here. It's real nice and still weather, so we can sort of camp on a exposed ridge here. Hopefully it stays good for tonight anyway, and um, going to go out for a little evening look. Seen a few deer down here. It's a real nice spot, so Harry and Minnie, Jared are going to go down, look in there, and I might go over, look into a gully over here, see what we get. Looking for a big stag now, so. Seen one down there, we just haven't identified yeah. him properly. Looks alright. Just in the scrub still, but the. Hopefully, he walks onto the tusk, okay? Yeah. Get into it. So I'm just Reckon, mate. Can't wait. I'm gonna have some Your food. boys were a bit tired after a big day. Packs Massive on. walk. <laughs> Massive walk. Wasn't that no, long. Wasn't far. That far. It was steep. This is hard. So steep. Hot has. But I'm fit and tired from the other days. Alright, we've just packed up camp this morning. It's just, the sun's just come up now. Boys are just having the first glass. So it's good if we see something, we can just get our packs on and head down after it. Another nice day, it's a bit windy, the wind picked up at about 5.30 this morning, so looks like another nice day though, no clouds, hopefully spot something down this way, that's where we're heading. night looking to the same country seen about 10 deer it's a bit hard to tell if any have got antlers because they're quite far away and they're in the shade so probably sit here for another half an hour and then we'll head down in their direction because we're going to camp down there tonight so then we'll get a better look at them anyway Shamus spotted in the direction we're heading to camp tonight, so that might be our target. We haven't seen any good stags, just seen a lot of young stags and some hinds and stuff, so it's probably going to be our target. Harry wants to shoot a Shamus, so looks like it might be an okay one. It's a little hard to tell still, it's yeah. like two kilometres. Yeah. It's definitely got a bit of length anyway. It's by itself, so it's safe for buck. Let's get down this hill here.
heading up towards this chevy we spotted about 600 meters away so we'll close the gap and decide if we're gonna shoot it or not a bit windy so we might have to get a bit closer for a shot yep it's quite hard because it's in view of us long time just over this hill here jason and all mate the boys have headed down to close the gap on this chevy i've stayed here with the spotting scope and i'm gonna call them if Try and video it from here, so we'll see what happens. It's about 500 meters now, and they're going to try get down to about 350. Hopefully, it's quite a lot of wind, so it's quite hard to film. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to shoot right now. Are you ready? Are you, is it recording the news? Manny's one's recording anyway, so we'll shoot off that. Coming in on me. Honor. Okay, I'm going to shoot here. Okay. We got him, he went down. Where is he? So when we go up. It's just up there. Yeah. Alright, I just shot that chamois, so... Had to quickly shoot him because he was heading up a bit far for this wind. Dropped him first shot, so... Hopefully, he's not a too bad a one. Hopefully, he's my personal best. Go have a look anyway. Right, we just dragged my chamois down from up the hill because he was up in that long grass and we could uh, get a pretty good video and photo of him. So, here he is, pretty happy with him. We don't have a tape measure, so we don't actually know how big he is, but it's definitely my biggest one. It's got quite good length, but the hooks aren't real good, we don't think, so not sure how big he'll go. So. Happy to get something on the last evening anyway, for me. Just so thought for a bit there I wasn't going to get anything. So let's get to finish it off. We're going to set up camp just down in the river here and have another look tonight and early in the morning tomorrow, but it could be the last animal for the trip maybe. We'll see how we go. Sweet. We'll cut some meat off and we might have some chamois for dinner tonight. That chamois ended up being the last animal that they saw for the trip, but they were more than satisfied with how the trip had gone. They waited for the helicopter the next day before enjoying a nice scenic flight home and getting back to reality.